Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This is Intuitive Tarot with me, Mum Core. Today I'm going to be reading for the collective. This is your February collective. So it's for all star signs. I am got a little bit of a back, different backdrop because we had a bit of an accident here yesterday where um, there was a bit of a leak and it blew all my lights over the side. So down there is a bit of a mess. I've got electricity coming out to fix it in the next few days. Hopefully, so yeah, this is a diff diff bit of a different backdrop for you guys. So let's get started. <sighs> February collective messages for my subscribers. This is the Good Karma Tarot deck. One more time. Oh, I just heard missing you so much. It's your touch that I crave the most. I just heard. Somebody's like desperate to tell you how, how they feel about you. And they don't know if you feel the same way. Yeah, they're literally bringing a tower moment into their lives because they're holding back from you. They're absolutely crazy about you, though. They've chose you. You're all they think about, but divine timing is, is majorly at play. You've brought a lot of light into this person's life. Ooh. Yeah, you've made them see love in a totally different way. They were guarded when it comes to matters of their heart and they were scared of getting vulnerable, getting all up in their feelings because they were absolutely terrified of being hurt. But with your... With your light-hearted energy, with like how you come in, I just see that you've, you've started off as friends and started off building this connection, being there for one another. But this person's so afraid that you don't feel the same way, they've pulled their energy back. Yeah, I can feel it in my cards. It's like it was all, all of a sudden, they were bringing everything in, showering you with love, showering you with affection, showing you that they're mad about you, constantly messaging you to like nothing. And you're like, hmm? Where do they go? I thought this was going to a good place. I thought we were leveling up this connection. I thought you felt the same way. <laughs> they brought clouds in on a sunny day. <laughs> yeah. Instead of enjoying this relationship, instead of enjoying this experience, they... They brought fear and doubt into this relationship. Because it was almost as if they were concentrating on what could happen rather than seeing what was happening. And what I can see was happening is fulfillment, joy, love. You know, just two people absolutely crazy about each other, loving on each other. Yeah. You both cr crave a relationship with each other. Like, majorly crave a relationship with each other. Um, let me get a different deck quickly. What more would you like? Yeah. I just want to get a bit of clarity, because it's... They're, they're up all night, and they're, 
They're bringing in these fears, but why are they bringing in these fears? What are they scared of? Show me. What are they scared of? Oh, it's like... <laughs> this person is so scared, your love interest is so scared of getting up into their emotions, of showing you how they feel. It's like they keep on pulling back from you. It's like they'll show a bit of vulnerability, they'll show a bit of emotions, and then they're like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Was I a bit too vulnerable then? Was I a bit too much in my emotions then? Emotional loss, sacral chakra, deception and envy, conflict and defeat. Your love interest and you are majorly protected. You're being divinely protected. But your person, the reason why this tower moment is happening, the reason why they pull back is because they've never experienced a love like this before. They've never felt such an intense connection. And with you, when they started feeling this intense connection, it made them worry about losing you, about losing everything that they've just, that's just come into their life. They've never had somebody show up for them the way that you do. The more you're patient with this person, the more that you're understanding with this person, don't don't come down on this person really, really hard. I don't feel like they're being nasty to you. I just feel like they pull back their energy because they're trying to like self-soothe and like be like, look, it's okay, you've got this, you know, you love this person, they love you, everything's gonna work out. Because this masculine has just got his hand on his heart and he's just like trying to self-soothe. He's trying to love himself and show up for himself because he's scared, he's absolutely terrified, this masculine is, of losing you. Like, I feel like it's love of, love of their life. Like every time they see you, every time you're with each other, it's like you just send goosebumps all over their body. They get so excited that they're about to see you. And they're worried that somebody's gonna take you away, even though you're totally focused on them. If you can be vulnerable with this masculine, if you can be open with this masculine, and I don't feel like you should have to reassure somebody all the time, but I do feel like communication needs to happen where it's just two people being open and honest with their feelings. Because once you, once this masculine gets out into the open, how he feels and that he is feeling a bit insecure, I feel like once that communication happens, it's gonna like lay everything on the table and he's gonna be like, oh, I really was worried about everything, and I didn't have to be. Frick. This whole open and honest thing is amazing, because I feel like once this masculine gets out of his comfort zone, he's gonna do it more and more and more. Because he does feel like he can trust you. He's been judged before for being vulnerable. Yeah, he opened himself up to somebody who didn't appreciate him. So it's going to take a little bit longer for your masculine to get vulnerable with you. Even though he trusts you, even though he sees himself levelling up this connection with you, he just needs a little bit more time. And for you, you're very in control of your emotions. You're, you find it easier to get into your emotions. Yeah, but he's very, he's very protective over his emotions because he has been really badly hurt and he knows if he opens himself up to you and all goes wrong with you he wouldn't be able to get over it because he's never loved you the way the way he loves you he's never loved anybody else and I can clearly see that this this masculine is head over heels in love with you 
I can feel it with my whole being. Like I'm getting emotional. I can feel, <laughs> my God. Yeah, he's, he's really emotional when it comes to you. And he does see a future with you. He just finds it really, really hard to be open about how he feels and expressing himself. Getting into that water energy. But I feel like he's going to do it and I feel like he is going to get up in his emotions. Like I feel like there's crying happening because he's going to tell you about an experience that he's been through. about heartbreak that he's been through. Because I don't feel like he spoke to anybody before about the heartache that he's gone through. Because he feels like he's gonna be judged. But when he opens up to you to say, well, my ex here, I went through this with them and they treated me like shit and blah, 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 blah. Um, and this is what happened. And once they see how you're reacting and see that you're comforting them and seeing that you're being there with them and just having compassion and understanding i feel like this person's going to be like an open book and they're going to release everything to you and be totally open with you but you know you know how they feel i don't feel like a, a sense of despair with you i just feel like you're so level-headed Yeah, it's you're concentrating on yourself. You're, you're making sure your life is fruitful and put together. Living your best life. And just hoping that they do come forward. And I think you're thinking that it's, you know, it's only in defined time. You know, they'll be here soon. It won't be long and they'll open up to me. Or it won't be long and they'll message me. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, because all of a sudden my spirit guide's pulling their energy back. It won't be long and this person's going to reach out. And if you can just show that you're there for this person, I really do feel like they're going to come through for you. This is all your messages, my loves. I hope it gave you all the clarity that you needed in your current situation. If you did want a personal, everything will be linked down below. Go and check out my Patreon. I'd be really grateful if you did so. Take care, my lovelies. Bye.